So after completing the vacuum tube theremin, uh, I went ahead and designed a MIDI interface for it. Uh, this MIDI interface uh, does pitch and volume tracking. Um, there's a readout on the front which will show you the actual note that you're playing. If I just move my hand towards the antenna you can see uh, it's changing the note name and the octave. And then there's an LED ladder that shows you how close you are to the true pitch. So green is obviously right on the money and then yellow and red flat and sharp and the orange bank of lights are the volume. So if I move my hand towards the volume antenna you can see that that goes up and down. If I put it into a run mode you can see here and if I fade up the actual theremin sound hopefully you can hear that there MIDI out, it also has a MIDI input, and if I put it into arpeggiation mode, um, you can see if I hold down a root note, uh, it will actually use that as the basis of the chord to arpeggiate. So if I hold down a C, we see if you hold down a note above C, you get the relative minor. Two notes you get the flattened seventh. And then for three notes, for a total of four notes held down, you get the minor seventh. This is kind of based on the uh, Casio chord system that they used to use in the original. Uh, MT65, which is one of the first uh, electronic keyboards that I owned as a child. Um, it also will output controller data, so you don't have to output pitch, it will output uh, controller data at the moment, it's set to controller number 55. And it also does um, what Casio used to call fingered chord, which is where you can play any collection of notes and that becomes the chord, so you can use um, suspended fourths, uh, any chord that you can think of, any collection of 12 notes really. If you hold down those notes, that will be what is arpeggiated. So it's still in the kind of prototype stage, but it seems to be working remarkably well.